this is on the structure of diamond so i want to show you or i want to explain how the ionic radii of diamond is what is diamond it is a colorless a crystalline solid and it got a property of dispersion you are able to see the lights dispersion and it's a saturated hydrocarbons so diamond what is a saturated hydrocarbon it got a carbon and carbon link so the value of the bond length distance in a variety of saturated carbon is 1.54 angstrom so radius of carbon is equal to bond length of carbon carbon divided by 2 that's 1.54 divided by 2 that's 0.77 angstrom you got a heteronuclear diatomic molecule discussion now you are able to see this is homonuclear the reason is the same molecule over here the same molecule it's homonuclear over here this is different indicates it's hetero and here it's different it's hetero so i'm going to talk about the heteronuclear diatomic molecule In case of heteronuclear diatomic molecule of AB type, the bond length is given by the radius of A and radius of B. Here is a typical example. I got a CCL4 molecule. So, the experimental value of uh, the bond length the DCCL is 1.76 angstrom. So, the bond length is equal to radius of carbon and radius of chlorine. So, radius of carbon is equal to bond length of carbon chlorine minus radius of chlorine. So, 1.76 minus radius of chlorine. Thus, the covalent radius of carbon atom can be calculated by subtracting the covalent radius of chlorine from the bond length. The covalent radius of chlorine atom can also be obtained by the covalent radius of carbon if you know it. So here are the some of the values of heteronuclear and homonuclear. So first thing I am going to talk about the homonuclear one. So H2 hydrogen hydrogen you got 0.74. For fluorine it is 1.44. For chlorine it is 1.98. For bromine it is 2.28. And for methane it is ethane. So CH3 CH3 you got 